Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to get flipped through the rest of my Creative Haven collection and if I have time uh, I'm going to do Dover and Spark as well um, and try and do bigger groups of videos for my collection flip throughs. Okay so first of all are all of my Jessica Mazurkowitz books. Um, so this one is Stunning Succulents. So I've done this one in glitter gel pen. That is the only one that I've done, which is a shame because I do really like this book. It's just knowing how to go about doing it. It has got some cheesy puddings in it occasionally. I like how they're shown in different ways. It's like this one's with lots of books, the one with crystals, you know, all these different ideas. And then coloured examples. So that's uh, Stunning Succulents. And I've got animal mosaics. Just done this one at the front. So these are drawn like as if you had made a mosaic so that's really nice sheep yay duck yay that's animal mosaics okay then I've got animal whimsy a wordplay colouring book so this one um, there are words that make up the animal so this one is like a crocodile um, so I've got a whip Bird of fly, a camel, a kitty cat, a chicken, cockadoodle doo, it's a cockerel, deer, dog, dolphin, elephant, giraffe. I think that's a goose. Gander, yes, yeah, so that's a goose. Horse, kangaroo, that could be a lobster, a moose, octopus, emu, a parrot, a penguin, a rabbit, a seahorse. Goat? No, it's a sheep. A 
because ramen do you Oh, a snail. Love it. Snake. Squirrel. Oh. I can't think. I know exactly where it is and I just can't think what it's called. Um... Marlin. Dear me. I was just about to give up then. Turtle. A whale. A wolf. And that's that one. So, uh, animal whimsy. This is uh, knitting notions. So this is cute. Different knitting related images, some with words. Look at these guys. Bunnies. Chickens. Yeah, feeling that. Lambkins. Oh, hang on. Tails up, their kids, their goats. Knitted fruit. More cats. Oh, Shetland ponies. Yeah, right. Squirrel that knits. See, those are goats as well. Sure, they're meant to be sheep because, you know, wool. But goats have tails up. Sheep have tails down. So, there you go. So, knitting notions. Did that have bunnies in it? I'm putting all the books with bunnies into one side. Yeah. Um, because... Sorry. Um... There's the bunny colour along that I'm doing. Not that I'm doing, I'm joining in with it. So this is Floral Design, uh, Colour by Number. You will have seen this one a lot. A lot of people have got this book and are trying to finish it. They're really nice, simple designs. Very easy. Um, that's your colour palette, so only 20 colours, you know, and one of them is white. So, very nice. Different styles, a couple of birds. course because it's a colour by number you get a lot more pictures with the colour by number books I think you get like 46 with the colour by number ones I think And then you've got the answers there and at the front as well. Uh, over 45, so yeah, 46 in the colour by number ones and like 31 in the normal. So that's floral design, colour by number. 
Okay, Magnificent Mosaics, and this is a stained glass colouring book, so it comes on the um, vellum paper. So these are really nice to do, these are just all patterns. So easy with um, alcohol markers. Like the colour lays down so nicely and the effect is just great. See what I mean? Really nice. Okay, so 16 in that one. Magnificent mosaics. Okay, so hang on, hang on, I've got carried away. These won't go in this side, I do beg your pardon. Um, this is Sea Life Designs by Kelly Montgomery. I already got a flip of this, so I'll only go quickly because I've finished this book. really nice because you could just go crazy with the colours and things like that because obviously they're not realistic gems on him some brads on that one that one I did paper piecing because the original thing I totally mucked up <laughs> but you see nice to save it him in a Christmas um, colour scheme. Okay, so that is Sea Life Designs by Kelly Montgomery. Okay, then I've got some by Marty Noble. So this is Japanese Designs. These are very detailed but absolutely beautiful. So some of this is fine liner work. When I look at this, I just feel that I don't know where to begin. Like, I don't know what colours to use and things like that. So I'm a little, little bit stuck. I have done this one, though. Japanese Designs by Marty Noble. Then I've got Celestial Mandalas by Marty Noble. So these are exactly what you expect and exactly what you've hoped for in a Celestial Mandala 
book. So they are mandalas. Um, and they have suns, moons, planets, all those sorts of things incorporated into them. I did this one, of course, with some glitter gel pen. So although some of them do have a picture in the middle, it's they're still it's still part of the mandala rather than the mandala being a border. So the you know what I mean, you can definitely describe them as mandalas. A zodiac one. So, really nice book. So Celestial Bandalas by Martin Noble. And then my last Martin Noble one is this one. Incredible Insect Designs. So I bought this second hand. Uh, so I do have some editing to do. So this isn't mine. I haven't done this. Um, this is mine. <laughs> See, that isn't mine either. What my plan is to scan them in and edit them on the computer to get rid of that mess and then print them out again and I'll have a brand new page that I can work on because the rest of the book as you can see is perfect but it meant it only cost me a couple of quid to get this I also did this one Again, really detailed books. So that's that one. Okay, then I've got Spectacular Sea Life Designs by Angela Porter. So these are quite zen doodly. So I've got this whip. I've done all the background. I want to do the fish and the border in glitter gel pen, and I just didn't have them with me at the time. So, of course, I haven't finished it. Got all these fish. Just looks great. And I love sea life. Colouring sea life. Mandala behind him. That's in a mandala design as well. So very nice. Spectacular Sea Life Designs by Angela Porter. Okay, uh, Owls by Marjorie Sarnat. Again, got this second hand. Um, so all of this isn't mine. So again, I'm going to scan it in and get that covered up. I like how the owls are like themed. So this is like an ancient map. These are Russian dolls. I did this one, Kites at Night. Money Owl. Steampunk Owl. I liked how they were all themed. So that's Owls by Marjorie Sarnet. Again, that's got one in it to edit. Okay. Um, and then these 
last two are by uh, John Wick. So I've got Infinite Illusions. So um, these are all black backgrounds. And they're not quite his normal style. They're a little bit different. Quite interesting, interesting ideas. This is a bit more like his normal stuff. Okay, so Infinite Illusions by John Wick. And then um, the last one I've got is Mandala Tecolations by John Wick. So this is more his normal stuff. So I did this one in glitter gel pens. Okay, so that's Mandala Tecolations by John Wick. Right, I'm going to grab my um, Dover books, so just bear with me. Okay, so these are all the Dover ones that I've got. Um, so yeah, quite a few of these. Um, some of these are quite old, I've had them for quite a while. So this is Plant and Animal Alphabet Colouring Book by Leslie Tillett. Um, so this is, was originally drawn in 1977, but then became part of Dover Publications in 1980. So Dover are all double-sided. All different animals but they do have dinosaurs as well because there's an ichthyosaur and then in um, D was a dinosaur so it is quite good I like it Narwhal Quite a few things in Q. So that's good. X will be interesting, won't it? T Rex. I like trying to spot the dinosaurs now. Here we go, X. Hmm. So, if you were wondering what everything was, there is a key at the back. So let's have a look at the X one. Oh, they do really all begin with X. So yeah, very clever. Um, so that is a Plant and Animal Alphabet Colouring Book by Leslie Tillett. Okay, then I've got quite a few by Jan Sova. And these are uh, all dinosaur books. So this one is Before the Dinosaurs. I didn't notice there was coloured pictures front and back, but there you go. 
so these um, give you information about whatever it is So these are all prehistoric amphibians, fish and reptiles. Moss chops. So there were a lot of these things called mammal-like uh, mammal -like reptiles and when you look at the picture you think it's a mammal, but it, they weren't. They weren't mammals, they were, they were reptiles. So there you go, so that's before the dinosaurs. I've got dinosaurs of the Cretaceous era. When I bought these, I got them all in a box set, a dinosaur box set. <coughs> so that was really good. Again, get some information at the bottom about the dinosaurs. So how old this book is, because it's rusty. Staples. Trudon, they think they've got something to do with evolution because their brain was so massive. So that's the Cretaceous era. era, era. Jurassic era. Okay, so that's the Jurassic ones. These are the Triassic ones. Oh my word, is this, you've got a question, is, is that really big or is he really small? Scientists believe this dinosaur was about four feet long, so this horrific thing was about two feet long, oh my god. So those are the Triassic ones. And then the last dinosaur book by Jan Sovak is Dinosaurs Stained Glass. So again, they're on the vellum paper. Parasaurolophus. Some of them are names, some of them can't. Paki. Okay, I'm put a name. That's the head butter one. That looks like a stegosaurus.
Triceratops, who apparently doesn't really exist. Those are all cutesy. That looks like a T-Rex, looking at the size and shape of his head. That looks like a Velociraptor with a cool hairstyle. Oh, we could see how well we did. That was a Utah Raptor. But no, that one that I thought was Packy something isn't. The head butter one, number nine. Stegosaurus. See, there's lots of dinosaurs that are very similar, but actually they're a different, a different one. Okay. This is Manikineko Lucky Cat Colouring Book by Arkady Reutemann. I love Manikinekos. So Manikineko means beckoning cat. Neko is cat. Um, <laughs> so pictures and patterns and cuteness and amazing. They're so great. He knows he's bringing you good stuff. These are um, Daruma dolls. Yeah, that sounds good. So yeah, look at all them on the shelf. That's ace. So that's the Maniki Neko Lucky Cat Coloring Book by Arkady Reutemann. Then I've got um, a fairy tale hidden picture colouring book by Anna Pamaska. Again, this is quite an old book. So this was originally drawn in 1982. I haven't had it that long. But you get um, a, the story, very brief. And then you also get told what you need to look for. So Jack and the giant are both running so fast they do not see the six beans, three bones, one cow, two geese, two money bags and one axe that are hidden all around them. So you can see the light part of the drawing. And that's what they're all like. There's Jeff Cat. There he is again. I haven't coloured any of these, which is obviously very naughty. at the back there. Okay, so that is Fairy Tale Hidden Picture Coloring Book by Anna Pamaska. Celtic Animals Coloring Book by Mallory Pierce. This is quite a thick book, really. Get quite a lot of pages in this, and when you consider they're double sided. Ducky, 
Okey Duck. So that's Celtic Animals Colouring Book by Mallory Pierce. Okay, then I've got this uber cute one. The Animal Babies ABC Book of Ballet by Darcy Bell Myers. Um, mine has got a bit of water damage, but again, I got it cheap because it's not in print anymore, I don't think this is. Um, but literally, it goes through the whole alphabet. Um, each letter is um, a word to do with ballet, and then they explain what firebird what's that every chick would love to dance the role of the firebird so you know what it is so some of them are double page spreads some of them are single page animals are super cute This is a really sweet book. So that's really good. I had bunnies in, so it needs to go into my bunny pile. Okay. Gods of Ancient Egypt by Bruce Lafontaine. So again, this one, you're getting information about um, the god that's covered. I haven't coloured in this one yet, which is bad. That's that one, Gods of Ancient Egypt by Bruce Lafontaine. And then last one of my Dover books is Goddess Colouring Book by Marty Noble. Got this on second hand again and I was missing a couple of pages. Um, but I managed to get them free online. So I managed to put them back in. I did colour this one, one of the beads has fallen off, very frustrating, need to glue it. But other than that, very cute. I like it. So these are different goddesses from all different cultures. So you've got some Chinese, some African, um, Roman, all different. So that is Goddess Colouring Book by Marty Noble. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my Spark Colouring Books and then that will do us. Okay, I don't have that many Spark ones. Um, these are more aimed at children, is the idea. But, um, so children age 7 to 10, but the pictures are really cute. So they're just really nice. So this is Sun, Moon, Stars by Maggie Swanson. So some of them are very celestial and some of them are an animal with the moon. So here's one that I did. Uh, got some stickles on the moon there. Um, yeah. Oh, I can't stop yawning, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. It is the morning, but it's not that early. It's like 10 o'clock. And then there's always this thing at the back. 
draw your own sun, moon, stars design. Okay, so that's uh, Sun, Moon, Star, Sun, Moon and Stars by Maggie Swanson. Then I've got Sea Life Designs, also by Maggie Swanson. I did this one. These are nice. They're quite simplistic, the animals, but there can be quite a lot going on in the background. The other nice thing about these spark ones is that they're single sided and perforated. So I did this one, got some sparkles on there on his treasure. Look at these little guys. <laughs> I did this one the same as the cover. See how detailed this is. They're just really nice pictures. Really nice. Plotty purse. So that's Sea Life Designs by uh, Maggie Swanson. Another one by Maggie Swanson, Circles of Fun Animals. These are great. Sheeps. Quite a thick paper as well. These are a bit like the child's version of Creative Haven. Okay, so Circles of Fun Animals by Maggie Swanson. Again, saw some bunnies in there. Okay, this is Wildlife Designs by Kelly Montgomery. And this is the same idea as the Sea Life one that I finished. So you'll see what I mean. Um, same border idea same pattern idea on the animals themselves so you can do them in all wild colours and things but that's also why I haven't done much in this book I want to do it but I just feel having just finished that other book I've had enough at the moment so I'm just waiting Okay, so that's Wildlife Designs by Kelly Montgomery. Okay, then I've got Mandalas by Jessica Mazurkowitz. I've done a couple in here. So these are simple, but not painfully simple. I would say the Davis Sparks books are definitely worth having a look at. Okay, so that's Mandalas by Jessica Mazurkowitz. And I've got this one, Playful Animals by Victoria Moderna. Different drawing style. 
to the others that we've seen. They're almost like a pattern. Bunnies. You know, because they repeat. It's good. It's like there's a lot of detail, but not not hard detail. Duckies. Duck's bum. I did this one. Sheeps and cows. So that's a nice book. Playful Animals by Victoria Moderna. That had bunnies in it, so that goes that way. And then last one that I've got. Um, again, a second-hand book. Uh, this is Cool Cats by Noel Darlin. These are really nice. Just cute. Did this one. Oh, free to a good home. That's so sad. So this one, as you can see, is I'd worked on it. So I've traced it and printed it out so I can colour it and stick that in. Did this one. This one. Got a bit of yellowing there. Why has he got no eyes? Oh, he has a See there, I've got a bit of yellowing. Oh, you can't see, aren't you lucky? So, yeah, a bit frustrating. But it's okay. Uber cute. So yeah, that's a really cute book. So that's Cool Cats by Noelle Darling. So that's it. That is all of my um, Dover publication books. So Creative Haven, Dover and Dover Spark. So I will get them all listed down below. Um, and I've put to, put to one side some that have got bunnies in, so you may well see some of them coloured in at the end of the month um, for my finished pages. Right, okay everyone, if you enjoyed all these flips, um, then please do give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and then you'll be then you'll find out whenever I put some new content up. Or say okay, okay guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye!